Hey guys, JP554731 here. Uh, I guess this is another random vid. Uh, okay, so um, when I was uh, growing up, when I was in middle school, I played uh, trumpet for my school band. And, um, well, throughout the years, I ended up collecting stuff um, from eBay. And, uh, and, uh, well, I just bought a, a bunch of stuff from, uh, I guess, um, where was it? Uh, some Trumpet Herald and those other sites. Um, uh, the name of the other one escapes me at the moment. But, uh, this one is my, uh, Box Shredder Various 37. Uh, this one I bought from a good friend of mine. And, uh, this one is, uh, this, is, this trumpet's very dear to me. And, um, ah, oh, sorry, that was my cat. Okay, so I salvaged this cornet here, um, from Trumpet Herald, one of those sites. And uh, I plan to get this refinished in silver. I want to get this, um, uh, which you would call it. I want to get it uh, serviced, refinished, overhauled. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay, so I got this mute from uh, Best Brass. It's a uh, uh, silent. Well, it's a, the same. Um, uh, he, this guy, Shinji, uh, his name escapes me at the moment. I should know this, his, uh, but I'm not really good with Japanese names. Uh, I was about to say Shinji Mikami, or, uh, well, some guy who, uh, I think one of the directors of, uh, Resident Evil series, I think that's his name. Well, anyways, off track, ah, uh, off track. Here's the, um, here's the mute. It's pretty good. Uh, the resistance is almost the same as the Harmon mute. That reminds me. I hear, uh, Best Brass's, uh, Harmon mutes are pretty, pretty uber. Here is one of my first, uh, Mount Vernon Bach acquisitions. This is actually, um, it's a mouthpiece case. Uh, for, uh, I guess back in the day there were mouthpiece dealers, um, going around schools and junk like that. But they're also called display cases because, you know, you can, uh, well it's a no-brainer. You can display them. And, uh, I'll go through what I have here. This is, um, this one is, um, Trumpet, it's it extends the um the gap between the lead pipe and uh, your mouthpiece. So, and I guess this um what it does is uh, it uh it um it makes your horn uh, I want to say flat. It makes it flat, so you're gonna have to push in more. I don't know what, what, um, other than that, I don't know what you can apply this, this, uh, mouthpiece extender for. Uh, this one is a cornet to trumpet, um, adapter. And I use this, I used it just to make sure that my first mount, or actually my second Mount Vernon New York Bach 3C cornet mouthpiece actually works so and it's in pretty good condition it's actually pretty good there's another Mount Vernon mouthpiece I acquired it's a two and a half C a Mount Vernon flugelhorn mouthpiece here's my first mouthpiece I got it used um, it, well all of them are used they gotta be they're over 40 years old Here's a uh, ten and a half C. I used it for my C trumpet, or uh, a, a Chicago C that um, 
that I played at school. Um, uh, gold plated, faded gold plated 3C Vincent Bach. Uh, Alaski 65 MC. I got it from um, Dylan Music. I gotta admit, um, the mouthpiece is okay, but like, I don't know who does. I think it's in house gold plating for this one. And uh, it's really subpar kind of stuff because when I looked at it, it was already faded. Like, some. There's a little speck that was. Um, that was. Um, the, the, that the plating came off. This one is, uh, one CW. It's pretty comfortable on, the CW series is pretty comfortable on, um, uh, on your lips, especially for those with, uh, jacked up teeth. I have an overbite, but my teeth aren't as jacked up as I would think, but, um, it makes it a hell of a lot comfortable to play um, trumpet with jacked up teeth. Well, uh, this isn't exactly a Vincent Bach mouthpiece, but it's um, a lead mouthpiece that I received from my good friend. Um, it's some more Sinkwitz, um, Eric Mayashiro model. That about does it for my first Mount Vernon uh, mouthpiece um, thingy. Mouthpiece case. Oh, there's my cat. Say hi, Noki. Okay, so Google Horn stand. This one is uh, um, another mouthpiece case used by um, mouthpiece dealers. Um, it's a Mount Vernon again. Uh, I have a couple of pieces here, but they're all, like, crappy student model ones that I plan to sell off. So, in this case, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, holds eight tuba mouthpieces, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven trumpet mouthpieces, and one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, excuse me, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven cornet slash flugelhorn mouthpieces. Okay, so, uh, well, I forgot all the numbers, so you do the math. The latches are all really, really in great condition. And, uh, the last one, I have a, a genuine, the real McCoy, Mount Vernon, um, trumpet case. It's, it's, this is one of the, the best I've seen on, um, on, on eBay or, um, on the internet for that, a matter of fact, as a matter of fact. Um, actually, you know what, there, there have been better. Uh, the guy, uh, there's this guy who, um, claims to have sent his Mount Vernon case in for the, um, new, um, uh, Vincent Bach, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, what was their new line? It's called, um, Artisan, the Artisan series that just came out this, uh, April, I believe they announced in April, the, uh, um, it's a double, the, the one that comes with the Artisan is a double case, the, the one I have is a single 50-year-old Mount Vernon Stradivarius Bach case. And, um, well, I guess I fell in love with the, uh, Vincent Bach name because, um, because of that, their legend, the, um, the Mount Vernon, uh, mythos, kind of, sort of. And, uh, that's what, that's what, uh, <coughs> that's what, um, the company... I guess they, um, they, uh, excuse me, sorry, I can't think right now. They're, um, that's what the, their legend, that's where their, I, I want to say their, um, their reputation, there we go. That's where, uh, their reputation for making instruments, uh, came, 
were, was at the best at, at its peak when Vincent Bach still owned the company. And uh, yeah, I know, uh, a couple minutes for the word reputation. I know I feel bad, I'm a native English speaker. But well, uh, anyways, um, that about does it for my Mount Vernon collection. I hope to acquire um, a trumpet soon and I'll show you guys that once I get it and uh, we'll see if the Mount Vernon name lives up to uh, its reputation and um, uh, this is JP554731 signing off and this is, I guess this is a random video since I normally do um, Gundam plastic models and uh, PVC figures and that sort of thing I mean I'm only 21 so uh, I guess I'm not that old to be doing, to be collecting this kind of stuff. So, uh, I'm rambling. I'll see you guys, um, I guess in a few minutes because I'll do another, uh, video. So, see ya.